Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah I can't even get through the salam mate Yeah, the western media is hell bent and even the politicians on making it seem like it's Hamas versus the Israeli women, children and the soldiers as well However, this CNN anchor over here tried to put forward the same thing but the thing with the Israelis is we've seen enough clips of them saying we're gonna wipe them all out mate Wait, does he kill innocent Palestinians? And the media's like, no, no, what, what, what they mean is, it's just Hamas that they've got a problem with, you know, he, it's just, you know, it, the, and he's like, but, but he's saying everyone, they got a right to defend themselves, mate. So this CNN host tried to do something very similar and said, you know, what your country is heading into right now, which could very well be a prolonged war with Hamas. It's obviously Hamas, isn't it? And the guy goes, I tried to correct you to the answer. The war is not just with Hamas. The war is uh, with all the civilians. They want to kill us. Civilians from Gaza came on bicycles. You know, civilians in bicycles, they come to us. You know, we pee our pants, you know, we were afraid. On bicycles to the kibbutz just to kill and destroy. We're afraid of the civilians on the bicycles. Yes, they're trying to resist the occupying power, but they're on bicycles. I don't care if they're civilians, you know. Yes, we may be one of the top armies in the world, supported and backed up by the West. You know, we have the Secret Service, the Mossad, and you know, we have... A, but these are civilians. I cannot even call them warriors. They are not warriors. Somebody that fights with kids and, uh, and women is not a warrior. This is one of the most sophisticated armies on the planet. And the guy is coming on mainstream media and trying to tell us civilians on bicycles, which in essence, because Gaza, about a million of them are kids. It's two million population, one, one million is kids. So he's trying to say, yeah, kids and villagers. Did I mention they're on bicycles, mate, yeah? They've received no formal training, they just dash rocks. Whoa, that's enough for us to shoot them in the face, mate. I mean, it's like these people are just not even bothered with their propaganda now. They just don't give a toss. But if you guys, the people sitting on the fence, are like, hmm, both sides, yes, oh, they got a right to defend themselves, you can't get sucked into this crap, frankly, yeah, because it's utter nonsense. And then he goes on to say, yeah, 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 women as well, mate. What's your supporting argument? Yeah, they're monsters, mate, yeah, they're mon yeah, why are they monsters? Why are they considered monsters? Because they're resisting an occupying force that's armed to their teeth, that's been suppressing and oppressing them for the last 70 odd years. Yeah, but th th they want to kill us, mate. Why would they want to kill you? Have you been killing them non-stop for the last 70 years and the world's been turning a blind eye? Nay, even funding you lot as well. How on earth can this guy come on television and spew this nonsense, frankly? The the most dumbest low IQ drivel I've heard in my life frankly. Yeah, somebody from the strongest army is trying to convince you that you know what, it's okay for me to kill civilians and the only argument he has is yeah they're on bikes, yeah they're, they're on bikes and these women, yeah they're, they're monsters, yeah yeah yeah, open them up mate, yeah you're gonna see three lungs, yeah you can see two hearts mate and they've got eye at the back of their head mate underneath the hijab what nonsense mate yeah and you know what the more these guys come on i want the i want to hear more of these interviews because you know what we're not going to have to do videos they're going to refute themselves frankly yeah <laughs> fantastic yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, yeah until next time <laughs> assalamu alaikum